guys, it's your girl Charity Nicole, also known as the Green Mama, and today I have a quick video talking about my breastfeeding journey, kind of some of the trials that I've gone to, gone through, and how I've been able to get baby boy back on the boobies, so stay tuned. Please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share, turn those bell notifications on so you never miss any of my videos. Like I said, baby boy is a little bit older now, so I have a little bit more time. I'm going to be pumping out some of these videos, so you do not want to miss those. Breastfeeding starts pretty much right away when you're in the hospital. They have a lactation consultant or expert that comes in and talks to you about breastfeeding if that's something that you want to do. I, I knew that I wanted to breastfeed. Um, however, yay me i had flat nipples or inverted nipples so they gave me a nipple shield right away i had to use that um, so that he could get a better latch because he there was nothing pretty much to latch onto. it was just like it was literally just flat it was a flat nipple i didn't even know they could do that it's weird so i was using the nipple shield and it wasn't too painful in the hospital and i think that's because at as newborns they don't eat a lot it's like literally milliliters that they eat but um if you guys have watched my other videos i did have a c-section so when we finally came home i was so tired i was like i can't deal with you know trying to get the nipple shield on in the right position and then trying to get him to latch so i was like i'm just gonna pump and give him a bottle and we'll be fine <sighs> biggest mistake ever because once I gave him the bottle and he was able to drink much easier, he literally refused the boob. Like, would cry and scream. He was not having it. Like, he didn't want the boob at all. So, I decided I'm just going to be an exclusive pumper. There are millions of videos on YouTube talking about exclusively pumping. And a lot of moms do it. You know, pumping is still breastfeeding, so nothing against it. Um, but, so that's what I was going to do. I was just going to be a pumper. Now, if you've done any research on exclusively pumping, you know that the um, you're supposed to pump every two to three hours to keep your milk supply up and to um, you know kind of imitate baby's feedings because they feed that often. <laughs> that honestly, like, it took me I think I want to say three weeks in. By week three, there were days where I was only pumping two to three times a day because that is so hard. Like, you feel like you're pretty much just pumping like that's all you're doing is pumping sitting down pumping for 20 to 30 minutes at a time and it just I felt like my life was just you know disappearing in front of my eyes and I didn't want to do it. I wanted to spend time with the baby it's hard to hold the baby and pump at the same time and I wanted to you know spend time with my family and I couldn't do that so I wasn't pumping as often and I definitely saw a dip in my supply at the beginning I was pumping maybe like five ounces total like three ounces on my strong boob and two ounces on my slacker boob and um but i saw that like slowly dwindling once i stopped um pumping as often as i needed to so i said you know what i gotta get him back on the boob like i'm sick of pumping i want to breastfeed i want to get him back on the boob what do i need to do so i scheduled an appointment with a lactation consultant here in san diego and let me tell you if you guys have a lactation consultant that you can go to do it it's worth the money i went in come to find out baby boy had a posterior tongue tie so it wasn't too prominent it wasn't like right in the front but he did have a tongue tie his jaw was really tight and he couldn't like really move his head side to side so they gave me homework i had to do some stretches with him and some like exercises with him like three to four times a day I did them religiously every single day. I did these stretches, I did these exercises. I'm actually gonna link them below so you guys can see the, um, the exercises that I did with him. But after one week of doing them, I tried to put him on the boob and he latched. And we've been breastfeeding ever since. There was the first couple times that I tried to breastfeed him after that, um, he was like, what the heck is this? You know, like I tried to put it in his mouth and he would just like fight it for a little bit, but then he realized, okay, this is where I'm going to be getting my milk from. So let me go ahead and just drink it from here. And now he won't take the bottle. I swear my kid, he's just up and down, up and down. So now it's really hard cause he won't take the bottle and I'm trying to get him back on bottles for every once in a while so that I can start, you know, looking for a job again and start, you know, enjoying life a little bit, going out with my friends again. So 
that's still a work in progress, but back to breastfeeding. So um, I, I was able to get them on, but obviously that those first couple weeks of breastfeeding, like your nipples aren't used to that. So it was so painful. Like I remember sitting in this chair, crying, he's crying, like, come on, Sage, like, I just need you to eat. I know it hurts and it, it would like, it would just be like the surge of pain and it, it just like, I can't even explain it, but it hurts so bad. So all you new first time moms out there that are trying breastfeeding and it like hurts, I'm with you. I totally know like where you are. I know how you feel. My biggest suggestion on that is get some good nipple butter. I have, I believe it's called Earth's Mama's um, Organic Nipple Butter. I'll go ahead and link that below too. It has been a lifesaver and it's or totally organic. So if I put it on and then he wants to feed right away, I don't have to like go rush and like wash it off real quick. I kind of just rub it in a little bit more and then I can feed him and it's perfectly fine. Um, I did want to kind of mention as well, I had mentioned that I had um, a, a dip in my supply when I wasn't pumping like I was supposed to. So I did a little bit of research on lactation um, supplements and I found an amazing brand called Milky Mama. Um, it's a black owned lactation supplement brand and they're um, from here in California in Rancho Cucamonga. And I ordered, they have like so many different kinds of treats, but I ordered this like, it's called a Lemonade a mix and it's like you put it in your water shake it up it's like lemonade and then they have like brownies cookies shakes and they even have these herbal supplements that are like you just drop them in your mouth um i'll link all of that below um, but they definitely definitely helped um now when i'm pumping i from both boobs at the same time when i'm pumping i can get um, up to 12 ounces so like six ounces from each so i definitely have an amazing supply thank god um, and i definitely um, contributed a lot to those supplements i got the cookies the brownies the lemonade and the herbal supplement supplements and so i use those I don't use them every day, but I do use them periodically a couple times a week just to kind of keep it in my system. And then I did just recently order their emergency brownies. And these are for people that like, when um, you have a huge dip in your supply and you're like, I need my supply back right now, they say to take these emergency brownies and it's supposed to help right away. So once those come in, I'm gonna actually do a whole video reviewing their products for you guys to give you a little bit more in-depth information about those. but. Um, like I said, I'm going to link the ones that I have already purchased below so you guys can check those out. Milky Mama, definitely an amazing lactation supplement brand. But yeah, that's pretty much been my journey so far. You know, we struggled at the beginning. It was really hard. It, they hurt. I was sore. Um, and all you exclusively pumping mamas out there, like more power to you. Because that two to three hours, like round the clock, meaning at night too, pumping that's absolutely ridiculous i don't know how people do it and if you are one of those moms that has that discipline and you can do it i swear you are so strong like seriously props to you because i couldn't do it and then like i said my supply dipped and i almost like i started a little stash and i was gonna have to start going into my stash at one month so um thankfully because i was able to get back on the boob i have a nice stash already i have three gallon bags um gallon freezer bags full of milk already so we're just i try to pump like twice a day now um in between feedings like once in the morning when i'm pretty engorged and then once before i go to bed and i'm able to get about like 24 ounces a day when I pump like that so my stash is just growing and yeah but that's my journey if you guys have any questions about breastfeeding so far please let me know I'd love to help you and again people in San Diego um, I can go ahead and put the website for the lactation consultant that I used but everywhere else just you know search and see if you can find a lactation consultant they are kind of pricey but I'm telling you they're worth every single penny because like I said, I, he wasn't latching at all. Like he would scream and cry and, and now I don't use any kind of nipple shield or anything and he just goes right on the boob and he's chilling for his little feed. So yeah, thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel today. I hope um, this little video was informative for you guys and I will see you next time.